almost every single session I've gone for in the last month, this question has come up. Wainraka, which business should I start? Hopefully we can answer that today. Welcome to Talking Sense. My name is Waidaka Gatumia. At Syntonomy, we offer classes designed to help you build wealth and live abundantly. Check them out at syntonomy.com. So, which business should you start? I'm telling you words matter because not everyone is built the same way. So, look, the business that you start is not just about what is possible in your space, but what is optimal. Which one would work for you? So, a couple of things that we have to look at. Number one, what are you built for yourself? Obviously, if you've been in the medical field, you're a doctor, maybe you're a nurse, maybe you've had some experience in administration in medicine, opening an, a clinic is something that you could possibly do. Now, I could do the same thing. I could open a medical clinic or a pharmacy or something like that. I could do it. But I have no experience. I have no idea what the supply chains look like. I have no idea how to deal with customers. I'd have to learn so much simply because I've not been in that space. So your skill set, your abilities, your experience informs what kind of business you can start. Second thing, obviously, is the capital. Some businesses take a lot of capital to start. Does that mean that you can't start? No. It means that your approach to beginning those businesses would be different. It's for you to be able to say, look, I have a certain amount of money. What can I do with that? So maybe I can't open the factory that I've been looking for, but the amount of money that I have can help me build a prototype that I can present to investors and investors can help me build the factory and grow from that perspective. So we don't just look at capital as having, I need to have all the capital to start the very business that I want to start with. It's what's the outcome that we're looking for. There's a great video by an amazing entrepreneur uh, called Eugene Bogwa. He's spoken at our events. In fact, we'll put a link for that video below this one here, where he knew I want to start a filmmaking business, but I don't have the cash to do that. I can't buy the cameras and all those various things. So what can I do? I can start another business that will help me build up the capital to start the business that I want. So he started sell selling DVDs. And after selling DVDs, he was saving up in order to buy the camera to do the things that he wants for his filmmaking business. That filmmaking business has helped, helped him open restaurants. Those restaurants have helped him open um, farms along the way. So as an entrepreneur, you're using your skill set, your abilities, and the little capital that you have to build up to where you want to go. So that's the second thing. The third thing, and probably the most important when you're thinking about which business you should start, is where is there an opportunity in the market? Because even if I am so passionate about online learning and the power of digital uh, creativity, if I'm out in a place where people have no connectivity to the internet. What am I selling? Is there a market for what I'm selling? No. In fact, here in Kenya, we had a huge um, debate around this a couple of years back when there was a craze about quail and quail eggs. What people didn't realize is that not that quail, the bird and quail eggs are a bad business. No, it's just that there was no market. The market was small and for those who were providing it, they had it already, they had their supply chains. Now, people were trying to sell quail and quail eggs. They had to convince people that this is something that they need to eat, it's good for their health, and it would just take forever to get there. So is there a market for what you're going to do? Because if there isn't, then a big part of your business plan is creating the market by creating demand. Do you have the time do you have the budget? Do you have the capital to go through that period of building a market? If you do, maybe it's an option. But if you don't, hmm, maybe you want to start another business where you start making money and eventually get to the one that you've dreamed about. I hope that's helpful. It's not just about, you know, what everyone else is doing. What are you built for? Start that business. As always, subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you won't miss another video. Join us for one of our life-transforming classes. Register at syntonomy.com.